I wanted to share with you all um, a little bit of a problem solved that Jason has discovered and sorted out while we've been away at camp. Um, we had a setup on the top of the Ranger of um, some solar, a flexi solar panel that um, was designed to be charging our secondary battery system that's running our freezer that we're currently running in the back of the Ranger. For while we're away especially because we're away for so long this trip we convert it to a freezer so that it has plenty of food um, storage and we get the best capacity that way well just before we came away jason discovered that the solar wasn't charging the battery as it should and he didn't have a chance to actually have a really good look at it while we were still at home so while we've come away the car has actually charged the battery um, and he did manage to put it on um, charge of a 240 volt before we left so the battery was fully charged before we left um, we've also had our chaser solar blanket of our hardcore mat which is our 250 watt mats that have been charging it every day but because we've had a couple of days now where it's in the 30s um, and even though we open up the back of the ute when it's extremely hot like this um, just to get as much airflow and keep it as cool as possible it is maintaining minus 18 degrees in the freezer but even that being said it's been a really hard slog um, and it was just starting to struggle today that we noticed the volts were only on I think 11.9 and um, so Jason's tried to have a bit of a look and he has unfortunately discovered that the flexi panel that we have on the Ranger um, has had it so that's obviously going to need to be replaced so he's um, been a little bit um, used his initiative and he's come up with a solution so I'm going to flip you around and let Jason explain to you all what he's done and um, the tools that he's used um, with basically the, the the limited kit that he carries with us in case of emergencies so that if you guys ever find yourself in a bit of trouble hopefully this information might get yourselves out of a bit of trouble as well so here's Jason to explain what he's done hi so what I've done is yeah as Michelle said the um, solar bl uh, panel on the roof wasn't working I've tested that and there's just no power coming from that so what I've done is I've cut the leads now it looks rough at the moment but I've just cut the leads and joined in to um, a bit of wiring and an Anderson plug that I or it had in my kit so that's allowed me to be able to just plug in for the um, the glass panel that we've got so it is working now it will get us through these holidays when I get home I will do something better with that I'll have better connections and everything but at the moment that's what I had and it's working fine um, the projectors all lighting up the way it should um, the batteries now jumped up to 12.5 so we're getting good charge in there now um, so I'm undecided yet whether we're going to put bars on the canopy and then put a glass panel on or whether we'll just have a couple of chasers I don't know yet um, I'm thinking the glass panel that way we've got something that's charging the whole time but we'll wait and see so at the moment I'll leave the wiring externally so that way I've got both options I can either run a chaser like I am now or I can plug straight into the um, glass panel that we put on so we'll just wait and see how we go with that but at the moment at least it's working it's charging it's about 38 degrees today Still getting good charge in the freezer still at minus 18 so at the moment it's all good and going well so are you saying jay that you've used a you've done it now so it's got a double chaser going a double chaser yeah yeah so we've got the one going through the projector yep which is the glass panel yep. at the moment and the folding panel i've got here going through the hardcore 
okay. set that we've got. So we've managed to actually have a double chaser because of the way that Jason set up the van. Um, we have solar panels, uh, 500 watt panels on, on the, the roof, roof yeah. of the van. Um, and we had the glass hard panel as a chaser, as a backup. Um, and because we've had so much solar and the way Jason set it up, the van's fully charged. So he was able to afford and he's checked again now and it's still running at 100% battery for the van. So he was able to actually steal the um, glass panels from the van to be able to double chase this freezer system. So smart little cookie, Jason. I would not have had a clue, but it has certainly saved our bacon, it seems, for this period of time. And in a couple of days, it'll cool back down again. So hopefully the fridge freezer won't have to work as hard and um, we won't have to rely on this type of system. But as Jason said, once we're back home, um, he'll look at fixing it for um, uh, a more permanent system. But at this stage, it's working and we're happy days. Thank you, Jason. Not awesome a problem. job.